Ah, great. All the faces will be slim and the people will be slim. Um, I have a very difficult task in uh, presented you, presenting you uh, what we have done in Romania, uh, starting with the Build Up Skills Initiative Pillar 1. Um, it is difficult because we are still going step by step on the road, on the roadmap. Uh, but of course, I will have something to present you. Um, because the challenges are there, and we solve them only in a, um, some extent. But first of all, uh, I would like to welcome you in Bucharest. Uh, I'm very happy that after being involved like five years in a row in a concerted action, from the mid-concerted action to until the almost the end of concerted action three, um, I'm very happy to have all these familiar faces in my own town. So enjoy Bucharest. Um, of course, uh, the road began with the Build Up Skills uh, initiative, in which uh, I was um, involved as coordinator, gathering a um, uh, very nice team, trying to uh, face the challenges. Um, some of them we treat, some of them are still there. Uh, one of the major challenges was the adaptation of national qualification framework. We are speaking about the VET uh, system, uh, the initial system, and also the adult um, learning, the life le lifelong learning system. Um, we faced a very fragmented uh, legal and institutional framework uh, with uh, pretty nice strategies for individual fields of activity or of individual sector, but not related between them, not correlated. And what we have tried to do is to have a consult, um, consultation process with all the stakeholders between the market and the administration, the uh, public authorities, and also between different sectors. Uh, one of the major problems uh, that we still have is that initial education is not oriented towards market needs, especially in the construction sector. And uh, we are facing one of the uh, problems that I faced in most of European countries, aging and migration of workforce. Of course, you put on top the economy's uh, health by um, a long period starting with the crisis and continuing now with reduced investments, with low salaries, and um, this communication which is needed in order to improve the image of construction sector is also related to the first um, issue, which is the initial education which is not oriented to the market. Uh, basically, the construction sector is seen as a very difficult, a low paid and dirty sector, which is really not the case. So what we need is to improve the image of the sector starting from the initial education. In order to pull the pupils, to pull the young, the children, uh, as future professionals. Uh, in this respect, we are facing uh, educational system which is more and more oriented on theoretical uh, part. The roadmap uh, was developed together with the stakeholders. We have a, a very large number of consultation um, events with the stakeholders, with the market on uh, two levels, open consultation with the qualification platform and I would say a close club consultation with the industry and uh, ministries and the government. Uh, we uh, have an inventory, we had an inventory of stakeholders. Uh, we structured the initiatives and the actions on eight uh, main objectives uh, and put it on the uh, timeline. This was endorsed by the stakeholders uh, by the government, uh, the responsible for um, construction sector, the um, responsible for education, and the construction market. 
the challenges that we identified in the roadmap um, were tackled in the Pillar 2 project, which was Qualishell. We uh, addressed the lack of sufficient financing sources uh, open to construction company to qualify the workers, the pool recognition uh, of high quality works in construction, and uh, of course we tried to change the current practices and the mentality in the construction sector, both uh, to managers of construction companies and workers and the employees. And uh, of course, uh, there are people asking, and I think the majority of the construction company responsibles are asking, why should I qualify my people? Because afterwards they will ask me more money or they leave to another company. But uh, some of them are asking why, um, if I do not qualify my people and they stay. They are trying to be competitive and uh, maybe they are already think about the challenge of delivering nearly zero energy building in a couple of years. So um, here comes the pillar two, build up skills quality shell with the qualification schemes in which uh, project we continued the consultation platform in both directions and in both levels. Uh, we developed two qualification schemes um, for the market, for the um, uh, high performance building envelopes, the opaque part and the um, transparent part, and uh, we developed mechanisms in order to uh, support the large scale and long lasting implementation of the qualification schemes. The main uh, tool that we developed is the partnership for education, which is a partnership between um, the materials or uh, technology provider, the construction company, and the training supply. Uh, so if we think about qualification, what we did as a, a best practice example, and um, um, I would say road opening in QualiShell, if we speak about qualification, we speak about uh, long um, duration of the training course, so we might have high costs and reluctance to participate. Uh, on the other hand, we have the recognition from the national qualification system. This is uh, targeted on to the on-site workers, so it's level up to four in the AQF, and uh, it's addressed to one single occupation. The next step was to go to specialization. Uh, we already spoken about uh, NZEP. We started to tackle the, the NZEP issue. And we didn't uh, want to reinvent or to um, discover a new professional, the NZEP professional maybe. Uh, so what we uh, think about uh, was the um, construction process which is an organic process, one could say, because there, are, there is a lot of people involved in the process, in different profession, in different qualification levels, um, and in different phases. So we thought about injecting the uh, needed competence, the skill, filling the skill, back, uh, skill gap in each uh, profession. So we can have flexible duration to one uh, day for a decision maker, for example, to eight, nine, maybe ten days for designers or high level specialists. Uh, we can have the recognition from the uh, national qualification system or the bottom up, bottom up recognition from the market. We broaden the qualification level and uh, we put as much as possible in the qualification, in the specialization training courses, uh, the cross-craft understanding. And of course, using the partnership with the education uh, by, um, as you will see in a moment, uh, building knowledge hubs and the cluster pro -NZEP. So the next step uh, is the train to NZEP project, a construction skills project uh, aiming to improve the training and consultancy facility. Uh, by developing new building knowledge hubs in Bulgaria, Romania, Czech Republic, Turkey, and Ukraine. 
uh, based on uh, very detailed terms of reference uh, for equipment and services, having a, a business plan in order to seek for sustainability of the uh, building knowledge hubs, developing and applying innovative training programs, and uh, doing also train the trainers activities. And we have a huge number of target group to achieve. For Romania, uh, what we are doing, it's not one center, it's a network that we want to uh, develop, starting from Bucharest and uh, Brasov, uh, in which we have partners of the project. Practically, it's a, an organization of a network, centered on the center that I'm coordinating within the Institute Urban in Czech, uh, to have support from the beginning from the regional partner in Brasov to attract the industry by means of the cluster ProEnzeb and not only, and to use uh, expert trainers and to offer courses for three categories of uh, groups. Uh, On-site workers, high-level specialists and uh, decision makers. Um, this is what we have uh, accomplished in uh, Romania. We have two centers in which we have a very big uh, component of practical training, starting from airtight room, mock-ups, uh, insulation air tightness, thermal bridges, passive house windows, mechanical ventilation with heat recovery, solar systems, and all kind of technology which is uh, fitting to uh, the ENZAP concept. Practically, if the ENZAP concept is a nutshell, we want to fill in the content with, uh, in this case, the passive house principle, which seems to be the most uh, healthy way to go to nearly zero energy building. We are doing this together with the industry. That's why um, almost two years ago we founded a new association, which is a cluster. We do not have a particular uh, legislation for clusters. So uh, we put together some uh, umbrella organization representing uh, the experts, the energy auditors, the construction companies, the producers of uh, building technology, building envelope, windows, uh, renewable sources, and some big players on the market. It's an open uh, association. Everybody uh, can jump into this adventure. It is now internally regulated. And uh, the uh, aim is to uh, develop together activities, projects, uh, research developments in order to uh, raise the market and to be ready at the deadlines official, uh, already published in the official journal regarding the NZAP implementation. The next and um, for now the last step uh, is to go to uh, renovation and to broad the qualification levels. And this is the fit to NZEP project. It's a project that we have started uh, some months ago. Uh, based on what we have developed with the uh, building knowledge hubs, we do not have Ukraine and Turkey now in the uh, consortium but yet we are using the Building Knowledge Hub and the network that we are uh, developing in trying to end up. So it's like ensuring also sustainability by other actions. So um, compared to Train to end up, we have Italy, Greece, um, Austria and um, uh, Croatia. Um, added to the um, uh, geographical scope of Train to end up. Um, the logic behind it starting, of course, uh, from the most pressing issue around, which is building renovation. We have a huge building stock, and if we want to renovate, we shouldn't renovate step by step or each two years the same building. We have to think about, we have to uh, raise the level of ambitions, we have to go to the NZEP concept, and for this we have to understand how it works. We are covering a full scale of uh, academic and uh, VET system from two to seven. So we are going to initial, for the first time, to initial education, professional schools, and also to master courses in universities. Uh, we are complementing 
the actions that we already um, experienced and implemented. Um, and we are building local capacity uh, on deep energy retrofitting. The goals are to elaborate a set of required technological competencies, starting from the uh, learning outcomes, like knowledge, uh, skills, attitude, to develop new training programs, employing the newly defined learning outcomes and competencies, uh, to review the national education plan and to try once more to uh, make it evolving, to train and certify the sufficient number of trainers and to support and monitor each module uh, application by a pilot course. The main results will be hopefully unique educational training programs on deep energy retrofit, design journey drawings and specifications for uh, the teaching materials, the practical demonstration models, <coughs> to build local capacity uh, in terms of uh, trainers trained, monitoring and evaluation of pilot course, and of course, increased awareness on the benefits of uh, deep energy retrofit. Uh, in a very short presentation, this is what we try to do, this is what we accomplished, and this is what we are promising now uh, for the roadmap. All these parts are pieces of the big puzzle, which is, uh, was started with the Build Up Skills Initiative. And uh, what we are uh, trying to do, it's not to train per se, but it's to develop the training market, to develop the training needs, and also to develop the market in order to be prepared for the NZEB challenge. And um, looking back and, and practically thinking of, of the lesson learned that we had in these almost five years, um, I think that um, the training need uh, or the training demands, demand, uh, it's very difficult to, to develop, to achieve. Uh, this takes uh, awareness, this takes a lot of actions, this takes um, maybe needed modification of regulation uh, framework, but also it needs time. So uh, we shouldn't stop, but we shouldn't rush. Because, uh, of course, there are some problems, some of them are pressing, uh, but the construction system and also the education system have their own pace. And uh, we should be careful in, in um, uh, forcing things. We have not only to push, but to find stimulative uh, tools in order to pull. Thank you.